Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for November 24th, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I just want to remind everybody, those who wish to help others, um, at 6 p.m. Eastern, we will be having a meditation for those who are in uh, physical challenges uh, so that we can help them uh, with our collective energies uh, do better, uh, heal them, uh, you know, support them, balance them. So that's at 6 p.m. on this line at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. You know, we, we, talk, we talk about this a lot. And we are, when you serve others, and I'm not talking about uh, the, you know, from slavery perspectives or under pressure, under duress or forced, I'm talking about enjoy serving others. Enjoy. You get up, you receive an inner, it, it's, a, it's a charge of energy, a flow of contentment and peace and love and joy. Uh, when you genuinely do this without expectations uh, of of gain, say, and it is a wonderful feeling and to help uh, ourselves because you can't help others if you can't help yourself. That's a big thing. And I think people a lot of times will try, you know, try to help others, but it just gets frustrating and, you know, why am I doing this? I'm not getting anything out of it. And it, it isn't about that. See, that's the 3D uh matrix that's to this world this world uh, when you're in low vibrational frequency you create a world like this this civilization has been in low vibrational frequency for a very long time we're no longer there a lot of us are coming out of it so that's why things are changing it's the only reason things are changing is because the collective consciousness is at a much higher frequency than it was hundred years ago, thousand years ago, and so on and so forth. So it always goes within us. We always, and, and see, we've all been taught to not do that. We've all been taught uh, through generations that we must seek that which we desire outside of ourselves. And that's the way it's played out over and over again for eons. But once you start to understand that you move within yourself and that you connect with the kingdom of God within you, and that journey goes deep, and along the way you come across different things that you learn aren't what they were, aren't what you thought they were. And things melt away. The uh, the lies and the deceit and everything start to just vaporize. And the reality of who you are and what you are begins to surface. You, you, there should be no suffering on this planet. You see, we've been taught a lot of things that are totally, unmitigatingly false. And I'll tell you that the majority of everything we've been taught are false. And it, and it, and it goes very deep. And we don't, I think a lot of the times, we just don't realize just how deep these falsities have been embedded in the civilization. 
if you are if you're in and if you if you're stressing and fearing and worrying uh, and, and suffering of any kind in your life, then you're connected to an old story. And the old story is your thoughts. And remember, thoughts can be very dangerous because we're so used to embracing them and turning them into realities that we create this. We create this. And it's up to you to give your story a happy ending. This is where we are moving out of this muck. We're moving out of it. The more we journey within ourselves, because it seriously has nothing to do with everything outside of you at all. It is your journey within that is going to surface and explain to you just exactly who and what you are. You're the God. You, you, your source creation. You're all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And you are the creators. We all are. You become a master, a grandmaster of your existence. You see? You become the navigator. You're the chart maker. You're the direction maker. You decide. And with the knowledge and understanding and consciousness and clarity of all of the falseness that you must literally vaporize, and this is part of your journey, all of our journeys within ourselves. Because all of this stuff that has really fouled us up is just false thinking. It's tricking thoughts from the ego mind that literally pummel us nonstop. And then we grab them and we create our existence. We create our experiences. We create our future. We create everything. There really isn't. And people say, well, every now and then, you know, life will throw something unexpectedly. Well, subconsciously, you literally designed whatever that surprise that you think that life throws little surprises at you. Well, those little surprises happen to be thoughts that you turned into creations. You created those thoughts into reality, but then you weren't cognizant to the fact that you were actually doing that. So this is why sometimes you have these little things appear in your life that seem to come out of the clear blue that people say, well, you know, life throws little surprises at you. No, because if you weren't at that point in that situation in that place and all of those things put together, you would not have experienced whatever it was that life threw at you at that time. So we create everything. There is no guesswork. There's no happenstance. We do it all, whether consciously or subconsciously, we do it all, or unconsciously, every single thing. So when you come across something in your travels and something occurs during the course of your day, your week, your month, your year, remember, you say, see, i got to figure out how I created this, and you find out 150% of the time that you will find out when and how you literally manifested that and created it. See, the more cognizant and clear we are on our thoughts and what we choose to embrace through the heart-mind is going to determine our bliss and our joy and our celebration of every single second. That It's going to determine that. There's nothing else that will. And once we... You know, without the ego mind, without that incessant ego banging on us, once we come to the understanding, and it's it's not like disappointing or, or you know, or being hard on ourselves because well, you know, why did I create that or why did I do this or why did I do that? It is more being kind and and careful with yourself and just saying, well, that's interesting. I must have grabbed one of the thoughts from my ego mind and created this situation 
And when I when I really give it some heart mind attention, that's exactly what I did. So therefore, how do I shift it? Well, you, you're aware of it, so you can shift it flawlessly into a much higher frequency situation, a much more higher frequency happening or experience. You can do it at a drop of the hat, so it's not something that's, you know, intricate, detailed, and takes, <coughs> excuse me, ages to uh, create. So it's very interesting that we have been literally led down a blind path throughout existence of this civilization. And we're coming out of it. See, imagine being a legend and a reality at the same time. Imagine being a legend and a reality at the same time. You know, we go out through our short little history of so many thousand years that we're allowed to go back to. And we, uh, you come across those who were legends because they, they did so many phenomenal feats and uh, did so many accomplishments and shifted and changed so many things that they're labeled legends. Well, do you think we're any different? We're all legends. To be on this planet, to experience the things that we've experienced, we're all legends. We're all grand creators. And when we begin to comprehend this clearly, then you will be at the command. You will be able to navigate wherever, whenever, however you choose. You will be able to govern yourself, think for yourself, lead yourself, create value and build wealth for yourself and others and it will be flawless and with ease this is why we will see the elimination of aging this is why we will see the elimination of disease this is why we will experience all of these things the end of starvation the end of homelessness the end of pollution the end of of the degradation of life and disrespect for living things. We will witness all of this. Do you know why? Because we're the legends. We are the God. We, we are source creation. We can't be anything else. Say, It comes full circle when we make this journey within ourselves that we finally understand that there's no changing that, that we are the God. And then there are those, because they are steeped in so much deep religious dogma, that to them that is just horrible that anyone would dare uh, claim that they were the God. This is how messed up the civilization has uh, become because of all of these external authorities mucking things up constantly and pre-programming the civilization into a, a, into a direction of annihilation. Doesn't It's just nonsensical, makes no sense. So we are the legends. We are the grand masters of creation. We are the grand masters of our existence. And you become the guidance of your ego mind. You, through the heart mind, you direct, you orchestrate, you're the conductor. All of us are. It doesn't matter how minuscule someone thinks they are or how unimpactful and uneventful their lives are. It is because by, by literally saying that, they are continually creating the exact thing that they're complaining about. 
you know, it becomes very simple for all of us once we see the clarity and once we connect with our God. And when we connect with our God, everything shifts and changes. You no longer suffer. You no longer experience poverty, dejection, uh, uh, fear, uh, you know, anger, misdirected. It's gone. We have a choice, all of us. Do we choose to live in a position of bliss in these bodies? Or do we choose the opposite of that? We are the legend. We persevere in total darkness and blindness on this planet. We are, we are literally bombarded by misguided, misdirected, low frequencies on a continual basis. And when we come to the conclusion that we are the God and that we are the kingdom of God, the heart and mind of God, see, we can't be anything else. That's the point. We're not separate. We are all part of of the grand creation. All of us are. We're connected to the quantum, quantum, hyper quantum, the vastness of of universes, molecules, atoms, everything. We are connected to it all. It doesn't matter what civilization you are. Pleiadians, Syrians, Dromedans, all of them, everybody. We're all one. And we all came from the same source creation. And that's a fact, Jack. Everybody can argue it. And the ego mind plays a role with these different civilizations. Who's better than who? Who's more advanced than who? Who has more power? Who controls more territory? It is just a continual process. And it is trivial. And it always has been. It's nonsensical. We are the legend. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, and I'm sure most of you are. First thing we want to do is we want to relax our bodies. The majority of the the illnesses in the civilization are due to absorbing stress, fear, worry, anxiety, hurriedness, Uh, uh, combined so we relax the body every day we care for the body you know I I can't I every single day say to the body I love you body and I say it through the heart mind and I mean it because if, if this body didn't operate correctly we wouldn't be able to be in it so and we're here to experience through the physical in this body. We're here to lift the vibrational frequencies of this planet and civilization into a paradise. So we relax the body. You Only you know where you hold your, your, your fear, your stress, your anxiety, your hurriedness. Only you know where it's at. So you find it and you just let it go. The more you unload, the more newness can flow in. And it's like you basically evaporate all of the negatives and all of the heavy things that we have carried with us, clutching it through life, not wanting to let it go, going back and revisiting it, hugging it. I mean, people people will go back and talk for ages about what they did 50 years ago. It has no bearing on the now. It makes no sense. The danger that we, we run into is that we will create our futures from years ago past experience instead of creating them in the now. That's why so many people are redundantly chasing their tails in life because they continually create their future from their past. Relax it. Let everything flow out. And as you're doing this, you want to move into the now. Right in the now. The now, the moment, everything happens in the now, the past, the present, the future. And what we do in the now, not the past, 
But what we do in the now creates our future. Because every single day, every single second is new. It is a blank canvas for all of us. Every second, every day, every hour, every minute is new. So it means that what we create in the now creates our future. We move into the now, we still the mind. We still the ego mind, subconscious mind, the chatter, the noise, as some people call it. It subdues it. And we go into stillness. This is when we move deeper within ourselves. Now as we're relaxing the body and we're in the now, we want to breathe. We want to breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. And as we breath in through the nose, we want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then breath out through the mouth. And you want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. You want to take in a really wonderful, comfortable breath in through the nose, hold it three seconds, and then breath out through the mouth. Those of you who are new to this meditation and this circle of lightness now, the reason we hold our breath is to focus us and to keep us in the now because the breath is in the now. If you feel yourself slipping off, getting derailed, going down a different path, and experiencing that you're not in the now, then what you're going to really want to do is focus on your breathing, listen to your breathing to move you back into the now. And it will every single time. may not do it in two seconds. may take a few minutes, but it will. You operate from the heart-mind. Now, as we breath in, we're breathing in divine positive energy. Divine positive energy is the highest of high frequencies of deep eternal love and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. It, it communicates to us through our gods and to our heart-mind. If we're conscious and clear, we will understand it and we will comprehend it. But, you know... It communicates we are legends through our perseverance and our experiences. As short as this civilization's uh, history has been, we have covered insurmountable challenges. And we have continued. We have continued in blindness and deception, but we still have continued. We have moved forward in a pool, in an ocean of complete falsities, yet we have continued. We have literally gone through all kinds of challenges and, and vaporization of the civilization, yet we continue. And why is that? Because we are the God. Because we are immortal. And we are going through this evolutionary track to awaken through our spirituality of who and what we are and to move up into the higher frequencies of existence. And that's what we're doing. And we continue. And we are legends. Now, as we breath out, we're breathing out, which we should very be very familiar with, our ego minds. We, we don't attach ourselves to things anymore. When you attach yourself to things, what happens? What happens? You begin to fear losing those things. It overwhelms you. You worry. See? And when you let go of that with confidence, that's when you soar. That's when all that you have ever 
dreamed of and chased and persevered and struggled and scraped trying to achieve it comes to you. And all you have to do is reach out, pull it in, embrace it, and make it into a reality. So the ego mind will continually be in tug of war with you. It's not, you're not going to be able to just dispel it with, with, within a matter of a few days. You, you know it's there, and you know what its function is, and that's, that's the power that we are. So we become conscious of it. And we say, okay, all right, here come some more thoughts. That's what they're coming from. They're just thoughts. They're clouds passing in the sky. So I don't, I don't have to incessantly embrace these thoughts and create them into a reality because I'm not interested in these thoughts. So I'll just let them pass by. And I'm really not concerned about holding on to everything incessantly to give me a false sense of security and comfort when I am the comfort. And I am the security of myself because I am the God. I am legend. And this is with strong confidence through the heart mind. We all are. Now understand that we operate from the heart mind. We're in the command seat. We're the masters and commanders of our light ships. And also, we're emerged with the God. We cannot not be, because we are part of the God. So we're all together. And we have other parts of us with us all the time. The archangels, cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels. They all vibrate at, different, at a different frequency than we do. They've been with us from the beginning. There's trillions of them. They're all of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. And we're all embraced. You know, our gods are their gods, their gods are ours. We're together. And we have the Ascended Masters. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, St. Germain, Sananda Jesus, El Moria, Abundantia, Tel, Thoth, many, many, many more. And we're all Ascended Masters. They're in God form. We're in body with our God form in the body. They've been with us a very long time. So arm and arm, they are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. Arm and arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light at the equator of this planet Earth. It immediately is flooded and saturated in a perfect sphere as we are in the golden white pink like a deep eternal love of the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael of the purple transmuting flame the violet ray of the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael all of these frequencies these energies are at our command And we're all protected with the highest of high frequencies, deep eternal love. And any, any intent, any deception, any low survival matter frequencies that try to disrupt, harm, or otherwise destroy cannot hold their shape or form or their frequency. When, that, when they enter high frequency, they cannot stay there or they will not be. Remember that as we navigate these times on this planet. It is the ego mind that creates the doubt and lack of confidence. So we all begin to elevate ourselves above the planet. We slowly start to move effortlessly. And we all 
choose the, the place position above our heads. We float above the body effortlessly. And as we do this, we see all. We touch and connect to all. And as we continue to elevate, we're, we're literally, we will call, and we call upon all of the light energy beings who are currently in all that there is, all that there has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, this now in this circle of light. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, stillness, peace, benevolence, tranquility, generosity, humbleness. And they come in the Googleplexes. One Googleplex fill this universe. Several Googleplexes fill several universes. Massive numbers flow in. Arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God, light, energy is everywhere. We call upon the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, agartha, beneath earth, all of these civilizations, only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They are of full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, stillness, Peace, joy, bliss, humbleness, tranquility, benevolence, generosity, and they come in the billions. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this circle of light, in this meditation, in this now. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one. And we are all love. And our god light energy is everywhere. We call upon the galactics, off-worlders. All of these civilizations, and there are many, and only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, peace, kindness, joy, bliss, tranquility, benevolence, generosity, humbleness, stillness, non-ego, They have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. Then they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon our loved ones, all of those who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They're in full compassion and non-judgment, non-ego, stillness, peace, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, tranquility, 
benevolence, then they come. And the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this circle of light, in this now, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on, in, above, and below this planet, in this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light. And only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the dwarves, the gnomes, the trees, the mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, all of the elements, earth, air, water, fire. Centaur, Minotaur, many, 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 many more. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, stillness, peace, joy, happiness, bliss, tranquility, benevolence, kindness. And they come in the trillions, shapes, sizes, forms, configurations, of which we have never seen. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are all one. We are all love, and our god light energy is absolutely in all that there is, all that there ever will be, all that there ever has been, forever, beyond, and forever. Saturating all in the highest of deepest eternal love. We look up and we see our meditative sphere, this sphere we have created, holding all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds of these in perpetual motion. It's at center circle. It can be seen, heard, and felt, and all that there is ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. You feel it flood you. Head the to toe inside and out. Your physical form, your body, and your God. You can feel the surge of deep eternal love. You can feel the understanding and the, and the clarity and consciousness of you. The legend that you are, the divinity that you are, the master and commander that you are, the kingdom of God that you are. And we pronounce this to ourselves. I am the kingdom of God. I am the legend. I am the confidence. I am the creator. I am the kingdom. I am the heaven on the earth. I create the paradise. I love all things. I value life as the highest value in the universe. I am that I am. And we look down upon the planet and we see all of our brothers and sisters, all life, vibrant, bristling, bright. And we flood it with all that we are as we are all one. 
with the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we feel this and experience it every second. And by doing this, our frequencies continually increase higher and higher. And our connection with source creation becomes much more fluid. And at ease. And all that we desire comes to us. And all that we do is embrace and create. We are the legend. We are legend. I'll join you in the meditation and I'll return to close us out.
Take this knowing consciousness with you for the rest of the day, into the evening and night, tomorrow morning, and forever. Embrace that which you are. All of us, kingdom of God, created from source creation and pure love. stay in the higher frequencies the paradise that we seek which is within us shall reveal itself outside of us we'll be back here November 25th 2019 3 p.m. Eastern